Hey guys, today is September 1st, 2018, and guess what? It is my one year ketoversary. I started the ketogenic diet on September 1st, 2017, and boy, has my life changed. I honestly wish I was a little more excited today, but let's roll the weigh-in tape and see what's going on. So guys, today I stepped on the scale and I weighed 169.2 pounds. If you remember from my July 1st weigh-in where I weighed 155.4 pounds, that is a gain of 13.8 pounds. And I'm sad, like, it just hurt. Like, I'm, you know, like there's no way around it. It's tough, it is, it is a wake up call. So if you remember, right after I finished Deeper State Keto, I went on vacation uh, and it kind of just turned into a two week binge fest. And that was my realization that like, I'm not fixed, I'm not cured. Just because you lose a ton of weight, doesn't mean your issues with food go away. Like, doesn't mean you are no longer capable of uncontrollable, bottomless pit binges, even when you don't necessarily want to be doing anymore. And the thing is, me being up 13 pounds, at one point I was up 25 pounds. So like, I've actually lost a ton of weight over the month of August because I was up so much higher. And don't get me wrong, this isn't just because like, oh, go off the keto diet for a day, gain 20 pounds. No, that's not it. You don't understand how much I was eating. You don't understand how much I was forcing myself to eat. Like it, there were just forced binges of just eat more food because that's my problem. That's what I've realized. My default thought process is why not? Why not be eating this food? If I'm, if I'm on vacation and if I'm off plan, why not? Who cares if the answer is because it's gonna make your stomach hurt, because it's gonna make you gain weight, because it's not gonna make you feel good. Those are not enough. Those are not enough reasons for me to be like, meh, I'm still eating it, and I'm still eating it, and then I'm looking for more. It was a part of myself that I have not seen in a very long time, and it was scary, but I'm so thankful that it only lasted two weeks, and really, around the second week of August, I got right back on, right back on. And I've been losing weight sustainably since then, but the fact that I have to re-lose the same weight, the fact that I was in the 170s and I was just praying to God to be in the 160s, when just a minute ago I was knee deep in the 150s, like, I just feel like a failure. But I feel like a failure in the sense that I know better, so I should have done better. But also, I do really appreciate what has happened because it has taught me some lessons about myself. Number one, as much as I loved Deeper State Keto, I cannot do challenges that cause me to restrict and where the goal is to get to a low weight and then it just be over because the next day I'm going nuts. Like I spent 90 days on this plan, not even completely, but I got to that 90th day and I was like, I'm done. I'm done with the program. I can go crazy. That's not true. You can't do that. But that's my mindset. Whenever I restrict for so long and there's an end point, right after that end point, I go off the rails. And I've done that before with like Beachbody, Insanity, 60 day challenge, 90 day challenge. I can follow the challenge, but when the day is over and I hit that end point, I just go nuts. And I've realized that I can't do that. I can't feel the restriction because that's why I, I went so far off is because I have felt so restricted for so long. And so I wanted to feel the opposite of that so bad, which was just, no inhibitions whatsoever. Like just forcing myself to eat stuff that wasn't even really all that good. I mean, some of it was really good. Some of it was worth it. Some of it was like, now this is delicious. But other than that, it was just like, oh, it's here and I'm on vacation and I'm off plan, so why not? Like 
to the tune of 25 pounds to the tune of being uncomfortable the whole time. Like, like I would wake up and you know, if my stomach was a tank, it'd be on zero with nothing in it. And I would immediately think like, how can I get it to 10? I would just eat and eat and eat until I was so full that I no longer needed to think about food. And then as soon as time would pass and it would get down to like an 8.5, I'd get right back to a 10. Like there was never a time other than when I was sleeping when I was not uncomfortably full for two weeks. And it's crazy to think about and to, to go back and realize, but ugh. And I realized about myself that that is how my brain defaults. There are only two ways that I can not be thinking about food. Number one is if I have a plan and I'm eating according to that plan and I know exactly when my next meal is. At that point, I won't be thinking about food. Or when I've already eaten so much that I'm uncomfortably full. Those are the only two ways that I'm not constantly thinking about food. And that's why it's so important for me to have a plan and stick to a plan, because if I don't, I will be obsessively thinking about food until I'm uncomfortably full. But one thing that this binge fest did teach me about myself is that I will never be able to not count calories. Like I used to think the goal of losing weight and the goal of keto and the, just the goal of being a healthy person was not needing to count calories and being able to intuitively eat and, and stop when you're satisfied. Like I'll never be able to do that. And I thought that that meant that I had an unhealthy relationship with food, but to be honest, I think the healthiest relationship is being honest with yourself and honest with your limitations and honest with your requirements. And I just know for the rest of my life, given the choice, I will revert to wanting to be uncomfortably full. So I have got to have a plan to keep me on track because otherwise I just, I just won't do it. And I'm okay with that. That doesn't mean that I'm out of control or that I have a bad relationship with food. It just means I understand my mindset. And, and I don't feel sad. I'm just not, oh, I look forward to the day where I don't have to count anymore. Like, that's not it. If the trade-off for the lifestyle that I want is having to count calories and make a food plan and the food's still delicious, I'll take it. I'm okay with that. But what I'm not okay with is feeling out of control and undoing the progress that I've made and worrying that I was gonna go back. And the thing is, I'll weigh 169 pounds and part of me just like feels disgusted. Like, I just feel bloated and big and squishy. And at this point, I've still lost over 60 pounds, which is great. But like just knowing where I was and how close I was to the real body that I wanted and now I've set myself back like four months. Wake up call. Uh, so, Overall, I'm glad that I'm back on track, disheartened that this happened, but also really happy that I was able to get out in front of it. And now I know the warning signs of, you know, this is not good. You gotta, you gotta reel it in. But I just wanted to keep myself accountable and I just wanted to let you guys know that up until this point, my weight loss journey has been linear and it's not anymore. I'm back up and I'm gonna go back down though. So. Be on the lookout, cause Autumn's back and she knows what she's doing. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm just annoyed. I'm just annoyed. You know how it is when you know better and you should be doing better. So that's just what I need to get to. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. Comment below, how did you do for August? Was it a gain, was it a loss? Have you ever felt out of control? And what did you do to get back in control? And that's the thing, people are always like, oh, I just went off on a tangent, you know, I had a binge week, how do I get back? You just gotta get back. Like, I went from eating a whole pizza and a whole gallon of ice cream and three boxes of cereal in one day, the next day, I was back to hot dogs and tuna fish. Like, that. there is no quick way. You just have to start and get right back to what you're doing. That's the only way. And that's what I've been doing and I'm losing weight and I'm gonna be successful and I'm going to get to the body and to the goal that I wanna get to. And you can too. All right, that's enough of this. Um, once again, 
like, comment, subscribe, ding that notification bell. My mom be like, did you post a new video? And I'm like, yes. Well, I'm subscribed to your channel. You gotta ding the bell. You can also find me on Instagram at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll catch you next month where we gonna be doing something different. I'm gonna be in there. Join me, be better.